Hello guys, it's me Tom from Blackwood Gaming, and today I have um, another video of some general Skyrim information. I'm sorry if I sound kind of sick, I have allergies and they're really bad right now, and I also just woke up, so. Now the first piece I have is a little uh, history of Skyrim, and uh, in the game of Skyrim is after the king died for Skyrim, that set off a civil war in Skyrim. I don't really know any of anything else, but I know uh, that's a little black backlash that happened in Skyrim. Now, the coolest thing that I found uh, over the past couple days is that there's going to be a new spell called Magnetism. And I guess this is going to let you prevent friendly fire uh, when you're going through, like, dungeons or you're fighting someone. Uh, I think this is really good because in Oblivion, especially for the Shivering Isles, I would go through the, the dungeons, especially when I had to, uh, you know, pick sides for the Dark Seducer or the Golden Saints, and we had to go down and lit, light the fire in the Shivering Isles. I found that I did kill a lot of my guys, so hopefully the spell will, um, or the skill, rather, is going to prevent a lot of annoying stuff. Now, a place that you're going to be in a lot for Skyrim is Taverns. Taverns is a place where you can uh, overhear conversations, start new quests, uh, gain information for quests, and quite possibly uh, buy houses. Now, um, like in my previous Skyrim video, I was talking about some skills. Some skills that are for sure that are going to be, uh, uh, what is it called, confirmed. They're not really skills, they're kind of jobs. Um, they're cooking, woodcutting, blacksmithing, and mining. Also, um, the wind in Skyrim is going to affect the way the streams flow. I'm guessing that streams can flow different ways per day. So maybe one way it's going to flow south, while the other day it's going to maybe flow, like, north. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it's going to be awesome. So, uh, if you like to use bow and arrow in the Elder Scrolls series, this is probably the best game for it. Um, I was watching an interview for from Todd Howard, and, um... He's talking about how there was a mod in Oblivion that made all the bows stronger, but you pull them back slower if it's stronger. They're doing that exact same thing in Skyrim. So, say you're going to have a powerful powerful glass bow in Skyrim with pow powerful arrows. The uh, backlash of that, or the effect of that, is that since it's more powerful, you're going to pull it back slower, but you're going to have a more powerful shot. So, say you have a weak, like, iron bow, um, you're going to pull it back faster, but the arrows aren't going to be strong. Um, also, archers in Skyrim, using bow and arrow, you're going to be able to hold your breath before you shoot your arrow to make the arrow stronger or to make your shot stronger, more accurate. Um, personally, I don't like ranging in Skyrim or Elder Scrolls. Um, I'm more of a magic person, but uh, bow and arrow is really looking good in this game, and I'm going to really probably try it out and play that way. Now, I don't really have any thoughts for this video, but um, tell me yours in the comments and I'll read them. If you want more gameplay, go to my second channel, uh, youtube.com slash user slash Tomyo75. Peace.